Hey everyone, welcome to this student success interview. I'm Garth Laidlaw with Port Prep and I help art students complete their portfolios to get into their top art schools across the globe. Port Prep can help you create the absolute best art portfolio that you can possibly make and have the best chance of getting into your favorite art schools. We have courses on figure drawing, character design, perspective, animation, storyboarding. We even have courses that deal specifically with Sheridan College's animation portfolio, which is notoriously difficult to get into and which is what I graduated from. One of the primary problems that we've noticed with students not getting into their top art colleges is the accountability to produce work in a, on a consistent basis. And this is exactly what we've created these courses for. When you sign up for one of Port Prep's courses, we draw directly on top of our students' work to make corrections and also record all of our online meetups and video lectures to send to the students so that you can have it forever. Port Prep is incredibly proud of our success rate with getting students into their top art colleges and universities. And so please have a look at our testimonials page. We also offer one-on-one -on -one art mentorships as well that are much more customized to your specific artistic goals. Without further ado, let's listen to this student interview. Um, well, congratulations. It must Thank be nice you. to be on the other side. How does it feel? I'm still in shock. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. How did you find out? Describe the moment. Uh, um, what is it? Yeah, I saw in the Discord that you mentioned results started to roll out and I'm like, mm. oh, they did? And like, I didn't get an email. So then I just checked OCAS and I saw I had two offers and I got really excited. Amazing. That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> did you share with your family right away? I did. My mom was actually sleeping, but I know she'd <laughs> want me to wake her up. So I did. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, That's so great. I'm so happy. I, I bet after that long, long haul this year. And this is your, is this your first time applying? Yes, it is. Wow. All, all the, all the praise to you for doing yeah, it on your you. first try. That is fantastic. 91. Wow. So I think, I'm not that sure was, if I'm correct, yeah, but that's the, the passing grade, right? Mm, yep, it was. <laughs> I just made it. <laughs> that, um, I did the same thing in my year. Although I gotta say it was a lot. It was a lot lower uh, of a minimum requirement than it is now, but I mean that's that's been happening pretty much every single year. So, um, so here it is. Here here is your fantastic score. Um, wow, ten out of ten on both figure drawing and and hand drawing. That is great. So where did you lose your mark? So I guess okay, storyboard a few, a little bit in short animation, a little bit in character, uh, and the two on yeah. perspective. Okay. Um, well, still, either way, who cares, right? It's all new. Yeah. <laughs> it must, it must feel so great. <laughs> it does. I was so surprised that the cutoff this year was so high. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. crazy. Yeah, just like out of, out of this world. I've never seen such, um, especially for international students, it was extremely difficult, obviously, like a 95, mm -hmm. like, even if you have, I've seen some score sheets that are almost all perfect. And yet it's it's still not a pass. And I was like, well, I don't know what you need to do then. <laughs> so I've got um I've got some questions here for you, which I sent you a little while ago, but mm -hmm. um we can we can maybe talk about this after. We'll we'll go through your 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 work first. And, and if any of your top three tips um are specific to any of these works as I'm going through them, then feel free to jump in and, and mention that. All right, um, sure. Yeah, so we'll we'll do it in order. Uh so starting with I guess hand drawing. Um, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, great. Yeah. 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 These are, these are great. Um, and it's nice that the way you've drawn these, it has a really nice sense of like fleshiness and structure. Like I, I feel like I can see that I can feel those tendons and bones and also the softer areas very distinctly. So that's what I always try and encourage. So I'm glad that they appreciated that. Mm -hmm. It's really wonderful. Um, okay, so your long life drawings. How, how are you feeling about your life drawings going into it? Oh yeah, that's great. going into it. Oh my gosh, if <laughs> you saw the beginning of my like newsprint book with my life drawings, it was awful. Yeah. So, um, with that being said, 
the end result was a per perfect score. So yeah. like my like my biggest like I I really want to encourage people to do figure drawing like as much as they can. Like even yeah. ten minutes in a day, you'll get so many figures done. And mm. it was all the practice that honestly uh, yeah. did it for me here. Oh great, that's good to hear. Wow, yeah, yeah perfect scores. That's that's fantastic. Um, okay, so your character, but she lost two marks on, right? Mm -hmm, oh yeah. yeah. Oh fun. I like this that's... guy. It's very sweet. Wonder where you lost those two marks, eh? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there are some consistency issues a little bit, but yeah, I could see that. There's the details are hard to uh, kind of capture in every single rotation. Yeah. But... I tried to keep it as simple as possible, mm -hmm. but also having an interesting character at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And at one point, you had to have the sword from the side view. That can be tricky, eh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, this is such a fun little character, very original. Um, and then, okay, what's after character? I guess it's short, and an, or no, um, what is next? Short and is short animation. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, hey, yeah, that's fun. So it turns into a little helicopter blade. I remember this one. Yeah. So let's see, what did you, you, you lost a couple marks? Just two marks as well. Okay. I think I could have definitely worked on my timing a little better uh, yeah. with this one, but um, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with it. It was kind of my first go at it. And yeah, that's so great. Yeah. And it's tricky because yours is like, it does jump up but it, it it catches itself and then it kind of hovers a little bit so that's that's challenging that's a, mm -hmm. I, I remember thinking about this and i was like wow this is actually kind of it's tricky to think about where you want it to be when it can kind of self-propel itself mm -hmm. oh that's great oh and then you move those little clouds in the background that's fun <laughs> all right let's have a look at your storyboard how do you, you did well on your storyboard right you had uh, okay. 17 out of 20 I think. what is that i don't know the math on that that's like 94 or something or no I'm trying to see what the oh 85 okay so yeah um oh yeah oh great yeah i remember working with you on this one for a while glad this turned out <laughs> yeah. is there anything that you would have changed in this one or that you changed oh, yeah or um clear or something like how did you mm -hmm. how did you feel about your storyboard overall i was honestly the most confident in my storyboard yeah <laughs> which was like yeah and like the least confident in like my figure drawings which was like you know kind of opposite that i did yeah. so well with that and then the storyboard <laughs> didn't go so great that's true but, yeah that happens uh, all the time in the arts yeah. where like you'll show your teacher and then they'll it'll be the opposite exactly of what you think so yeah, yeah. i'm i'm glad this I third mean, shot worked out i remember yeah. talking about that and we had a few uh rounds with this one just to make it super clear but yeah. yeah i'm glad that one like i'm really happy with that shot just mm -hmm. i remember doing that part like four different times probably like yeah. fully lining it and coloring it and yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great nice it's a fun little story but like the oh this ski hill looks good i wonder mm -hmm. like yeah all those signs that kind of helped identify i wonder if if they miss that, then I can see how they might be kind of confused, like, what's wrong with this ski hill, you know? But mm -hmm. I don't know. I think you've made that pretty clear, so... Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Perspective line drawing. Okay, so just two marks there. Uh... Okay, here they are. Oh, yeah. Nice. Did you add the dog, or was the dog there before? Uh, he was there before. Okay. Huh. Neat. Wow, all that detail. Yeah. Love the stuff in the foreground all those trees and bushes that's great and then the previous one oh yeah yeah of course this one was fun i feel like i could really like put a story into it and... yeah yeah oh, i obviously really so love my mouse character <laughs> yeah he made it into this too <laughs> that's great oh fantastic i love all the deep like there's so much if you go really deep into this, like we get even more back in this corner, like, wow, look at that. And that's so that's just a small piece. You, you put so much effort into every little piece, even though it's, you know, it's just a small moment. That's really good to get used to an animation because there are times when 
you'll see a beautiful background on screen but how long will it last like a few seconds and then it's gone yeah so you really want to but still as a background artist it's good to kind of think about that the lasting value of of, of an artwork um mm -hmm. yeah beautiful I mean, background I I'm a little obsessed with the detail, so it was my yeah. fault. <laughs> I put myself through this, but if you, you have to if make you enjoy it, it then that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Um, okay, then I, I guess just personal. Okay. Oh, nice, perfect on personal. Okay, let's have a look at your personal work. Um, oh, your sketchbook. I'm not sure if I actually saw this. So these are are these digital? Or... Uh, the ones on the right are digital. The ones okay. on our left are not. So I just like okay. combine them. Yeah. Too. It's a nice way to do it. Oh yeah. Great. Oh, this is nice. Nice little sequence here. Oops. My sorry, my mouse wheel's all over the place. Today. No worries. Nice. Yeah. It's nice that you you have some portraits involving masks, but overall you have some mostly it's people with their full face it makes it tricky over the over covid to uh get good yeah. portraits <laughs> <laughs> that's great i like i like this one down here i don't remember seeing that one before um oh great yeah this is great very helpful for for animation oh this is fun yeah oh and then re you're maybe your real dog yeah my yeah it's my dog he's everywhere in this portfolio especially in the personal great. section i love that you cartoonified him and, and put that on the same page as the cartoon version oh this is great so fun i can see you're going to be doing lots of animal animation when you're in the program <laughs> <laughs> yeah here he is again <laughs> oh nice really like these and i think that they really like urban sketching that's my opinion it seems like they really mm -hmm. appreciate uh environment drawings and okay and and oh this is great you have a good mix here of like buildings cars like all these different kind of classical things that you would see potentially in an animation but also just in the world mm -hmm. um okay and now your digital paintings so you combined a few onto this page nice yeah so this is a nice way. I like how you took your character and you're like, I'm going to extend upon this. Like I'm going to build the story outwards a little bit so that they can get a full sense of it. I think that's a really nice mm -hmm. idea. And it looks really fun. Was it fun? Yes, that was my favorite part of the portfolio, if I may be <laughs> honest. I enjoyed that sketch page. Like, Great. It's just world building. Like, like this little one on the right or this, this one on the yes, left? The one on the right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's so fun. Oh yeah, the Marie. Oh yeah, I love your names and just your little. It does have a, like a really defined story there. I feel like I, I just, I feel like I actually want to live there. But uh, it's mm -hmm. it's a beautiful little space you've created. Oh yeah, and some more like, almost like classical art things that you do in like more of a fine art college, but with digital. So that's that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, some more character lineups. It's a cool little kind of um dichotomy between these two i guess you could say yeah. awesome okay nice okay so you put a bunch together and they were fine with that yeah. it seems like they don't really care as much about the format as i remember we and i and, and i spoke with many others about this too about how precisely they want to see this displayed if they want to see like just one image per artwork or if you can put a few in there and that's okay um, it seems like they're okay with you putting a bunch together, obviously, getting perfect on this part, so that's good. Oh, there's one more, yeah. Nice. Good mixture of things as well. I like that. I think they did too. It's nice that you did some some effects. That's honestly not super common. I very rarely see that, so yeah, I bet they appreciated that. Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah. Maya, wonderful work. Um, you must be so proud of seeing it all all together like this. Um, I am. I, I still can't it. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your top three tips that you'd give to future students? Top three tips. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very important to pick up your sketchbook every day. Mm -hmm. Like even if you feel burnt out about working the portfolio, because I mean, I I was definitely burnt out in a lot of moments. And yeah, um, yeah draw what you like and um, 
draw every day. I'd say like、mm-hmm. practice and patience is. I think it's key to making this portfolio.、Yeah. I know it's like a very kind of vague idea, but I think it's very important to just draw and. Do what you love, because you're、yeah. putting your all into this, and you're putting yourself into your portfolio.、Mm-hmm. Yeah,、um, that's great. Yeah. Also, definitely for a second tip,、uh, study from successful applicants like religiously, because、yeah. that's what I did. Okay. I like watched a bunch of videos online about、um, people's portfolios, and. Um, just organize that all into a slideshow and like studied their figures. I just I learned a lot from、uh, studying people's work, how they drew hands. I even I drew hands from like successful applicants when I was doing the hand drawings. Okay. As well. That's good.、Um, Obviously my, not the same hands, but just using the same、yeah. kind of rendering and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, my last tip would be to keep yourself organized. Mm. Um, so my workflow kind of looked like this, where、um, I like printed out an entire calendar, and I had like one week of like studying this, just focusing on like figure drawing.、Yeah. Although obviously I do like figure drawing all throughout the months, like that's the last thing I should put into my portfolio.、Yeah. But I just having those things to keep me on track really helped me. And I had a、uh, little to-do list that I like stuck on my shelf, and with like little checkmark boxes, and it、oh, felt good. good checking those off. I bet. Yeah. And <laughs> then after the portfolio was finished, just ripped them all off. I'm like, yes, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> nice. That's great. So, yeah. And was there anything that you felt gave you a particular edge in your portfolio? Um, like specifically in my work. Yeah, like, is there anything that you felt you did that was like,、mm, this is a nice angle、um, that maybe not not a lot of people are thinking about, or just a little a little hidden、uh, hidden secret that you have that you'd pass on? Um, not so sure. I would honestly,、um, I think you should. Sp- Spend as much as you can in your personal section, because、mm-hmm. um, that's the area of your portfolio where you get to show what you like drawing, what、uh, yeah. you bring to the table, what sets you apart from other students.、Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think it's good to be in a mentality where、um, you look at other people's personal artwork and you're like, okay, this is what was expect、um, accepted. I should also do this. Yeah.、Uh, draw what you like, because、um, that's it's probably been like done hundreds and thousands of times in other portfolios. So I、yeah. think you should draw what you're good at, what you're confident in, and、mm-hmm. uh, yeah,、that's、I think、great. that knowing that gave definitely gave me an edge in just working. Yeah.、Um, the u- uniqueness of my personal artworks. Sure. Yeah. Like I think this one in particular. It does really come across that you've built this little world here for us. So, yeah, no, I think they, I think they definitely love that. I think these kind of little sketches here, even though they're sort of rough, that's totally fine. Like it's just little moments of this story. So I think they probably love、mm-hmm. that, honestly.、Um, and they like these traditional practices like this. And、um, I really liked your effects too. I thought this was just a really interesting. Like this is honestly a bit of an edge. I, I don't, I really don't see many people doing effects. Because you can stylize effects and make them into a kind of character in a sense, so、um, I think it's great that you're like, I'm going to try this.、Um, I remember seeing this way back when I was like, Wow, this is such a fun idea! I never like, I, I never see this. I really don't.、Um, so yeah, that's really great. And、um, what would you emphasize? I mean, you kind of already talked about this, but what would you emphasize the most for next year's students and parents to take from your success?、Um... I think it's very important to get feedback and、yeah. a second set of eyes to look at your work because,、yeah. like, if I if I if I didn't have your help, I don't know my portfolio would be somewhere else. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it would well, not have been passed.、Good. Like, honestly,、um, it helped a lot. I think it's、yeah. very important to invest in a tutor if you can, or、mm-hmm. um, just reach out to students who. Like offer drawovers and all that. Yeah,、um, yeah. That's great.、Um, I'm super glad it was helpful. That's always good to hear, Maya. Yes. 
And another thing is, please, please start early. <laughs> yeah. As early as you can for your portfolio. Sure. I still think I started a little late. Mm -hmm. um, I did mine like mid October. <laughs> okay. Which, like, yeah, yeah, I started. I mean, that's when you start hearing about people. You know, when when's the portfolio requirements coming out? That's yeah. when I start hearing that. So I think that's a pretty yeah. good time. But um, if you just, even if you start working on personal artworks uh, over the summer, I think that will like give you a lot more breathing room when you actually work on your portfolio. Especially while you're in school, right? Like you were, yeah. you were in high school as far I'm as I remember. I'm still in high school, yeah. Yeah. So, so, wow, you did this on top of that and then got in on your first try from high school. That is I know. wild. Amazing. Um, so the coolest question of all, with unlimited resources at your disposal and a giant team of artists and animators, what would your dream project look like? Oh, like, for example, dream project. <laughs> um, man, that's like fast. I'd <laughs> I'd say I'd either create like a high fantasy film or video game. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be very cool to animate a video game in like completely two D. Although mm. it'd take a lot of work, but cool. like three D space. That's great. Um. Uh. I don't know. I and I think like coming up with like a film concept would be like take. I mean, of course, I can't really come up with it on the spot, but I definitely mm -hmm. want to base it off my own personal experience and make yeah. it something that people can easily relate to, no matter what age they are. Yeah. I will. I really want animation to be um, a medium and something that people can watch, no matter how old they are, and mm -hmm. love it and enjoy it. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And honestly, there is more talk about like adult animation these days than even like 10 or 15 years ago. So um, mm -hmm. like different themes and just like kind of more family based stuff, I guess. Yeah, could be, could be really cool. Awesome. Yeah. I think well, it'd be dream to just work in a large studio with a bunch of like animators. It's just yeah. that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Being think surrounded about by it, artists. You know? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, this is great, Maya, and and it's nice that you are you are a testament uh, to all of the other high school students out there that think that it's impossible to get in from high school. You you did it, so honestly, yeah. that is just so that's so great. Um, so, congrats from from myself in particular, but from from Port Prep, um, you did a great job, and uh, I hope so I much. hope you're super excited to go next year. And yeah, I am very excited. Thank you so much for all the help. Awesome. No problem. Well, enjoy your time at Sheridan, Maya. Take care. Thank you so much. See ya.